Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? Um, in this video, I just wanted to share with you guys that uh, Backtrack 5 um, R1 had just recently came out. That was uh, actually, I believe it was the 18th of August. So if you go to the Backtrack 5 website, I believe you type R1 at the end of it. There it is. It was 17 hours ago. It says it was update with new tools, stuff like that. So yeah, four days ago, the 18th of August. I apologize, I have not noticed this until just now, actually, today. But it says, we have finally released, or ready to release Backtrack 5 R1. This release contains over 120 bug fixes, 30 new tools, and 70 tool updates. That's awesome. We will be rolling out some how-tos on our wiki in the next few days, and such as VMware tool installation, alternate co compat wireless setups, etc. The kernel was also updated 2.6.39.4, and it includes the injection pack patches as well. As usual, please report to us any bugs that you have that you find through the Redmine ticket system for fastest response. Don't forget to check out our forms in our wiki. We are really happy with this release and believe that as with every release, this is the best one yet. Some pesky issues such as RF kill and VMware and TL8187 issues have been fixed. That, oh, that is awesome. That's going to really help me because I have the TL8187 and I get that issue all the time when I use VMware actually. I always have to RF kill or RF kill list and find the list of uh, the RTL8187 and find out what's wrong with it and usually it's not turned on like the monitor mode is not even on it's not working or something wasn't connected right so I end up having to remove it from the mod, the the mod prob, or whatever you call it, M O D P R O B E. You know what I mean? And you remove it and then you re-add it. So it, it was a big pain. So that was awesome. They fixed that. So which provides a much more solid experience with Backtrack. We released. Uh, I'm gonna say GNOME for those who completely keep saying gun note. You know. We're saying that I was saying GNOME wrong, so I'm going to say GNOME. And KDE ISOs for 32 and 64-bit. No, no ARM this release, sorry. As well as VMware images of 32-bit. Wow, this is going to be awesome. But, I mean, you know, right now I have not even tried this yet. I just now was told about this. So, um, I'm actually downloading it right now through uTorrent. And it's at 22%. And... Yes, my speed is not the greatest, but it's getting there. So it will be done by tomorrow because I'm going to go to bed here in a little bit here. So um, I just I'm going to let that thing download. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Backtrack 5R1 release. So uh, tell me what you guys think. I'm excited. I'm ready to try this out. The new tools, everything. So um, all right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.